This is a very old Oahu square neck um, <clears throat> lap steel guitar that had a collapsed top. I put on a new top and uh, <clears throat> made it to take a cone. <clears throat> In this case, <clears throat> it's a Dobro cone that's had its diameter decreased. <clears throat> It's not as bright as many nationals. It's used in a national configuration. There's no spider. I just make stuff up. Uh, this is a new cover. I can't find old covers. These are a real find. They're large furniture, uh, clothing, furniture, storage vents for high class. Anyway, they work great. Um, the binding, all the binding detail is simply the, there you go. When I'm done with it, I remove the paint from the corners. Uh, when the wood is white like this, it's very nice. So we'll do some stuff. I'm in open A. This tune is in the key of B, so I'm on the second fret. This is the chord progression to a well-known It's a nice little box. Uh, no buzzes. It's basically been, notice the tuners. These tuners are rare. They came to me as an inconvenience. They have to be made upside down and backwards to work this way. Uh, and I tried putting them on a parlor guitar, got the thing done, and all the tuners were backwards. They're made 
for this purpose. I found them and they're on the guitar. That's really a Dobro convention. It's a Dobro cone, but it's a national style. It's a pastiche, as they would say, on the Antiques Roadshow. Okay, there's no picks on me fingers, but I still use the thumb. Um, also, I, I take the cover off. The cover is removable. They used to be welded or riveted in place, but uh, so it allows me to mute the strings. And maybe I'll play a little of this in both modes. I don't know here. pocket going, you know, and then that. There it is. I'm going down to Louisiana. I'm going down to Louisiana behind the rise of sun. I'm going down to Louisiana behind the rise of sun. I got a gypsy woman get my business done. Got a gypsy woman giving me advice. I got a gypsy woman giving me advice. I got a whole lot of tricks keeping here all night. I'm going down to Louisiana and ride the sun. I'm going down to Louisiana behind the rise of the sun. I got a gypsy woman get my business done. I got a So that's why I take the cover off of the saddle. <clears throat> I like it. <clears throat> it's a nice little box. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, 
talk about the finish. This is what I call the timeless finish. Um, I lightly oversprayed the sides and medium on the back. And I pre-sanded that. But when the, there are marks here from 80 years of life, those marks are in here. You might could see them in reflected light. I left them in on purpose. If you want to finish like a Martin or a Gibson, you'll have to go buy one. This is the finish of a 80 year old, apparently well kept <laughs> instrument. It's been redone. And so, but if you look at it, you will see numerous small dings, nicks, and scratches under the new shiny black, um, <clears throat> including the top, which is new. Um, it's not perfect. It's pretty good, but it's not perfect. Uh, I was thinking of trying to dull this, but uh, it'll happen in time.